So, I just had the coronavirus vaccine, my arm hurts like you wouldn't believe, yet for some inexplicable reason, I want to make a video. So, I wanted to make something that doesn't require a lot of typing or script making or anything like that. So, in today's video, this is going to be a chill, laid-back video where we take a look at the Ghost BSD installer, see what it's like, see how easy it is to install, and more. Right now, on the Linux Lounge. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining Odyssey, the freedom respecting alternative to YouTube. Links in the description. So indeed, as I said during the opening, today we are installing Ghost BSD. Now at some point in the future, I want to make a review of this, but I do also want to take an in-depth look at how easy it is to install. Since I've always seen Ghost BSD as kind of being the Ubuntu or Manjaro of the free BSD world, and it really is easy to install. And that's what I want to show off in today's video. So we are going to be using a virtual machine for this, and I've already made it. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the installer. Now it should be pretty simple stuff. The only thing I would say is I don't know if this is going to work because I've tried this before in VirtualBox and it actually didn't seem to work but I'm hoping that in GNOME boxes it works much better. So as you can see we've got the boot screen here we're booting into multi-user mode as we should be. Now in the past this has taken a while so there might be a cut in here but let's see what happens. And here we go we have our GhostBSD booted up. Now we can go ahead and select any of these options options to start X. Now I think we need to do it with the VESA driver since we're in a virtual machine but I am not 100% sure so let's go ahead and select that. And sure enough the desktop would seem to be starting up that's a good sign and we have our mouse cursor here and here we are in Ghost PSD and as you can see it started up just fine which it actually didn't in VirtualBox oddly enough. Now this is the newest version of Ghost PSD and as you can see it does look really really nice so let's go ahead and get this installed. So unlike FreeBSD there actually is a graphical installer and like many Linux distributions it takes you right to a live desktop so you can try this out before you install if you want to. And I think that's a huge step to making FreeBSD much easier to install. So once you're ready to install it, we go ahead and click the icon on the desktop, which is super easy to access, and we get this really nice looking installer. So let's go ahead and set our language to English, set our keyboard layout to English UK, even though it doesn't really matter since we're not going to be doing any typing on this, let's go ahead and do it anyway. And you can see how easy this is and how many languages and keyboard layouts there are. So if we select next, we can now select our time zone, which for me would be Europe and then London. And we click next. And then installation type, as you can see, super easy. You can go ahead and do some advanced partitioning and set up your own partitions if you want. But if you're a new user, you can literally just click full disk configuration and it will take care of it for you. So let's go ahead and click our virtual disk. And you've got some pretty nice options here. You can do various different things with multiple disks. So for instance, you can run them in RAID, you can do it strong mirror whatever you want you can select your partition scheme there's any number of options here and you can change your swap size by default it's two gigs that should be fine for us you can also set up what bootloader you want so since we're in a virtual machine we'll be using the bios only loader but you can also use refined or the free bsd boot manager if you wish it'll ask for your administrator password so we're just going to go ahead and put that in and there we go we go ahead and hit next it'll ask us to set up our user so we'll go ahead and do that and interestingly enough it actually asks you what shell you want to use now by default it's set to fish but you can have any of these shells if you wish we're going to go ahead and select bash because that's just what i'm used to and it kind of seems to be the standard and once we've done that we can just go ahead and hit install and as you can see that was really really easy this definitely is the easiest way to get free bsd installed and i think that any new users could use this easily and i think it's every bit as easy Easy, if not easier than installing most Linux distributions. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run and I'll be back once we have our Ghost BSD installed. And there we go, our Ghost BSD is fully installed. So let's go ahead and click the restart button and see if it boots. So in theory, it should just go ahead and reboot into the fully installed Ghost BSD. And if it does, I'll officially say that the Ghost BSD installer is actually really, really good. And I've got to say, it really is an impressive step for FreeBSD that it is now this easily installed. So as you can see, we've rebooted into the installed system and it's giving us the boot menu as it should. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So it's just booting as it should. Now this is a virtual machine, so it's not necessarily reflective of how fast the installed system would actually be on real hardware. But as you can see, here we are on the lock screen. So let's go ahead and log in. 
And there you go, there's our fully installed Ghost BSD. So if you're someone who's never tried Ghost BSD or really any BSD before, definitely don't be discouraged. You could see that just how easy it was to install Ghost BSD. If you can install Linux, you can install Ghost BSD easily. So I would highly recommend that you give it a go. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you in the next one.